What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, um, we've actually got a bit of spare time because still we haven't got the car back from paint, which sucks, but it takes time to get things, uh, I don't know, I guess you say right. Um, we're going to use this time to take the old uh, tow bar from the old wagon. We're going to cut some bits off it, weld some bits on it, and we're going to actually turn it into a proper jack point. Um, so I'm loading up the car now, heading over to my mate Will's place and uh, where he's going to be doing all the fabrication work. Um, he has an idea of what he's doing with a welder. I have no idea what I'm doing with a welder. Uh, alrighty, let's uh, waste no more time, jump in the car and we'll head over to his place. Alrighty, so today we are performing surgery on what was the tow bar from the old wagon. We're going to try and chop off the edge just here so that it's not sticking out anymore. But we're going to use the rest of it because I still need a tow point for the rear of the wagon, especially when it's on blown tires. Um, so we've pretty much got this little bar just here that we're going to just weld, weld a little bit under the back of or the bottom of so we can slide a jack under it to jack up from. Because if you look at like the thickness of this plate, it is all extremely sturdy and this thing weighs like 20, 30 kilos almost. So, and, and it bolts in through the back of the chassis. So I never have any, I've never any issues or worries about, uh, I don't know, cracking anything or it failing. So uh, we're here with Will the welder and he's, uh, he's my fab guy. So he, he pretty much did most of the exhaust on, um, on the old wagon. So whenever I need anything done, I always come, come to him and cry for help. Jesus Christ. Need to get the ugger dugger on it. The further back we can get the better, but at the same time the bumper should cover that. I don't know. Sucks I need a, need a bumper to be able to look at it so I can reference it. But it should be fine because from memory, the rear of the bumper, so you know how they've got like that plastic shroud at the bottom, the mm, black one? Mm. That like comes to back here, but the, 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 the actual bumper itself Above it sits flush with it, right, so. so if we cut it like right along here, it, it should it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Look, well, worst case scenario, just get a paint disc and chop a little bit more. Off. Yeah, or even just a grinding disc, and once you've got the, the brunt of it off, you just yeah. grind it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool, right. man. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I uh, had five seconds with it uh, with a hacksaw, and then I was just like, yeah, no, this is a shit <laughs> idea. Yeah, with a hacksaw. Because my I've only got a four-inch uh, four grinder, so I could oh, I could yeah. barely get to it. So I was like, oh, yeah, metal hacksaw. I'll just go through it. And, no, no it's, it was, you like a day. Dude, it took me forever. So yeah. I was just like, uh, maybe I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I needed the jack point, so. Yeah, no, fair enough. And as well, now, instead of having the load being jacked from here... It'll actually be from like the middle of it, so it should be a lot better. So Tim, Tim likes to say that my uh, my favorite tools of the trade, the things that I'm best with, is a grinder and a heat gun. And uh, when he asked what uh, what Will the welder's skills were, pretty much said he is like me with a grinder and a heat gun, but with a grinder and a welder but I think he uh, definitely owns the title of uh, being a better grinder than me because I'm still pretty scared of the grinder, whereas he has no fear. He just goes straight in. And uh, yeah, what took, what would have taken me forever, he just not nah, pushed through, smashed it out. Bro, you're smashing through that. <laughs> I thought that would have taken so much longer. Man, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Look at the thickness of it. Wow. Yeah. I'm not going to touch it because it's going to be hot, but like... Yeah, that was surprising. Like, yeah, you munched through that, bro. I thought, I, like, in the time frame that we had, I did not think we were going to be finishing this, and <laughs> yeah. half, the half the work's already done. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was going to be much more the way you described that. Yeah, I, th I thought that was going to suck. And then, yeah. look how, how thick it is there. Like... Yeah. Look how thick that is just there. Yeah. That's nuts. And still, that grinder just went straight through it. Disc. Yeah, that disc was a freaking gun. Smashed through it. Two. Um, or just like a couple. I think like at least like at least that kind. I'd go like, two. Yeah. Yeah. Get get some, get some actual like length in there, kinda. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can find a piece of that. Plus, it's a lot easier to go put too much on than it is yeah. to 
have to try and add more later. I think Will the Welder is going to become Will the Fab Guy. I got some freaking, for a garage setup, they got freaking some insane machinery out here. Now he's got to find some unnecessarily cool shit to build just to put it on the wagon. I really want to touch it. Look, I'm not going to stop though. I highly, wouldn't highly recommend it. And what's the point of doing that after you just weld it? Making it look nice. <laughs> so since this took a lot less time than we thought it would take, we are now going to the trouble of uh, doing some supports that are just going to look freaking sick anyways. So at the moment we pretty much have to clean them up and then we got to notch this side a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, they pretty much fit perfectly against that angle of that back plate too. And like, oh, it's going to look money, especially once it's all painted. I'll probably paint it like a bronze or a gold or something that matches the car, just the Summonats, but it obviously won't make it out of Summonats with paint on it, but it's, it's got to at least go there looking pretty. So this should look sick. You ain't got nothing on us. I'm steady calling your blood. Pass me the split. Need me a pub. You don't want smoke. Tell them let's talk. Yeah, yeah. Heard them lanes are sucking down and we don't pay that no mind. Didn't need to watch them know that. I'll be here in no time. Put a candle on it. Had to tell them they could blow my Lights, camera, I can't make it showtime. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. Coming together now. That is looking nuts. <laughs> so that's pretty much a finished project for a couple of hours. God, it looks freaking sick. I always wanted to do this, like this exact thing with uh, with the tow bar, but I never knew how it attached to the car or anything. So knowing that it slides into the rails pretty much at the back there and bolts in, when we took it out, it was definitely a must to do while we had the car apart. It came out freaking sick. It's crazy that it matches those angles too. And it's gonna be super, super useful at events. Not only is Will the welder a welder and a fab guy, but he's also got his own media business too. So you mainly mainly on Instagram, aren't you? Yeah, mainly Instagram. Yeah. So uh, he's mainly photography and stuff, but definitely jump over there and have a look too. Um, are, you, are you gonna sell these stickers or anything? Sure, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe enough interest for them, definitely. Yeah. yeah. They're good stickers and they're freaking good quality. But yeah, jump over onto his Instagram. It's probably like, I got it on the page just here. But uh, yeah, jump over there and give him a follow because he does some pretty good shit as long as, as well as some good fabrication. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, smashed out a quick project and it's going to be extremely helpful, especially at events. Alrighty, bro. Well, I'll catch ya. Cheers for your help. I'll probably get some more stuff done from you later. Sounds good. Alrighty, bro. I'll catch ya. Alrighty, so that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video now that we're back home and everything. Um, it does suck that the car is not back from paint yet, but again, um, you can't rush it. You can't just expect it to be done. It's the first time I've ever experienced anything like this because like everything I've normally done has been stuff that I've been doing myself kind of thing, but I can't build an engine. I can't paint a car. So it doesn't rely on me or how fast I am. So again, the whole hurry up and wait game, um, which does suck a little bit, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully in Friday's video, we do have a bit more of an update with the car. If not, I do know that this Saturday I am going out to the painter's house. I'm helping him. We should be able to smash out the rest of it. So I don't see why the car shouldn't be back home this weekend. Um, then we can start assembling it because the garage is an absolute mess. 
and the only way I can clean this up is by building a car. Um, we do also have the uh, front brakes off the old wagon. We've got the headlights to do. We've, we've got the suspension to clean up too. Plenty of work, heaps of stuff to do. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one, which will be Friday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty, guys. Peace.